Oh, it's alive. <laughs> oh. Young Jin Ho is the president of Hankook Marae Technologies and the visionary behind the method too. After making a fortune in the internet technology sector, he's turned his attention to what he believes is the next big thing. He's invited us to a demonstration of the method too, so we can see up close how his team is turning science fiction into reality. <laughs> So is that the intention of the robot to be used as a, as a sort of a, a safety device to rescue humans or go places where humans can't go, or is it more for recreational use? 음 제가 오히려 질문을 드리겠습니다. 저 로봇을 제가 한대 드린다면 저는 어디다 쓰시겠습니까? Fighting. Fighting. Oh, yeah. Sam. <웃음> <웃음> 저희 로봇을 보면 모든 사람들이 처음에는 움직이는 거 보고 다 무서워했어요. 근데 10분이 지나기 전에 다 재밌어하는 걸 바뀌었습니다. 똑같았습니다. 처음 봤기 때문에 당황 너무 큰 움직이니까 당황할 수 있는데 다 재밌어합니다. 로봇이니까요. In an unusual case of function following form, the method 2 was designed first and the technology was customized to fit the humanoid shape. It was designed by artist Vitaly Bolgarov, who also designed the newest versions of Robocop, the Transformers and the Terminator, and it was specifically meant to evoke the kinds of sci-fi fantasies that you and I grew up with. Design is the first one. We had to make a design of a concept. After the design of the design, 관련된 그, 그 부품이나 모든 것들 디자인에 맞추는 방법을 썼습니다. So this is the largest bipedal manned robot in the world, and as you can see, it's taken on a humanoid shape. So it has a hip joint, a knee joint, ankle joints. There's actually six different joints all the way up and down the leg. They're actuated with servos and belts. Surprisingly, there's no hydraulics involved in this, and you can see they probably weigh a fair bit too because it's all machined out of billet aluminum. But my favourite part, my favourite detail, has got to be over. Here. Here, the fist. All of these fingers are actually controlled inside the cockpit with buttons. You just press the button or release the button to get the finger to close and open. All the joints are there and they've even added little rubber plates on the inside so that you can get a good grip of whatever it is that you're trying to hold on to. So even having seen the videos on YouTube, they don't really do it justice until you can stand up close and see the amount of detail involved in the method too. It's crazy. You got bad there. 어떤 부품도 존재하지 않았습니다. 그래서 부품을 전부 다 만드는 게 힘들었어요. 저희는 모터, 유압, 그외 모든 부분들 전부 다 만들었습니다. 세상에 없는 한 개를 만들기 위해서 세상에 없는 백 가지를 만들어서야 이 하나를 만들 수 있었습니다. 그 점이 가장 힘들었고. Now you can see that the arms have been covered in this beautiful carbon fiber skin. I've been told that the legs will eventually receive the same treatment. I thought that the upper body would have actually weighed a lot less than the bottom half for stability, but I've been told that the ideal weight distribution is perfect one-to-one, -one. so the top half being exactly the same weight as the bottom. I don't know how that really works, that's beyond me, but they've figured it out. My first experience inside the Method 2 will start with a hands-off walking demo. The locomotion will eventually be controlled with foot pedals in the cockpit, but today the walking is controlled remotely by a team of technicians via an umbilical from a workstation. So we're going to go for a walk? Yep. Okay, beautiful. This is... I don't even know what to say. I've got no words for this. And I'm actually kind of nervous. It's my first time driving a large bipedal manned robot. Oh, it's alive. <laughs> oh. of machine. 
machinery just it kind of sways side to side as you go. I need to get one of these. And the noise it makes. I can't help but feel like maybe down the track in the future sometime this is a noise that's going to strike fear into the hearts of many. It feels strangely stable, but it certainly feels heavy. That's one thing. I can feel it kind of slamming its feet into the ground. But it doesn't feel like it's wobbly backwards or forwards. I am very glad we're tethered though. Because if we were to trip over in this and go down face first, one and a half tons, that's gonna hurt. I wonder if one of these days down the track my grandkids are gonna look back at me and say why didn't you stop them granddad you were there in the beginning why didn't you make them stop all right so i've been given the go ahead to try the hands now if you've ever seen any of these um let's say mech warrior or manned robot suit movies you'll know that a lot of times it comes with arm controllers which is exactly what this has which is blowing my mind so it's arm controllers you might be able to see down here I've got to slide my arms into and they've both got little joystick hands so I'm just gonna raise oh, no way I have finger controls and a thumb controller okay I'm gonna make a fist so I'm gonna pull all my fingers in oh those hands they are like Optimus Prime hands Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh my. It's so responsive. I, I just can't even begin to describe how awesome this is. This is not something that I thought I would even get to do in my lifetime. And it's not missing a beat. It's just doing everything. I can't stop watching my own hands. And they're saying that very soon they're going to do an absolute first, which is a robot picking up a human. The control that I've got, this is going to be transformative. If we can get it to a level, obviously there's still a lot of work to be done, but this is only a couple of years old. It's still baby steps, and it's only going to get better and better and better the longer we get going with it. 사실 지금도 됩니다. 이미 저희는 필이 여러 대 주문을 받았어요. 제가 고사했지만. 아마 저희가 제품을 내놓을 때가 된다고 하면 지금보다 안전이 더 확보가 될 것이고 그리고 제어, 조종 능력이 좀더 발달하면 될것 같은데 제 짐작하기로는 아마 한 내후년쯤이면 거의 제가 원하는 수준까지 가지 않을까 판단하고 있습니다. How much can I expect to pay for something like this? 음, 얼마로 보이십니까, 이 물건이? Uh, I don't know, I guess I'd put it in like supercar territory, like a LaFerrari, maybe 1.4 million? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fair enough. <laughs> Well, I can pretty much say without a shadow of a doubt that this is one of the coolest things that I've ever done. I'm Jonathan Buckley. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>